Chamiza to make key appointment. MDCT leader Nelson Chamizu is set to make key appointments of two deputy presidents, national chairperson, organizing secretary and party spokesperson in an effort to stabilize and prepare the main opposition party for the upcoming harmonized elections. Although the expected appointments were likely to open floodgates of serious jostling, Chamiza was widely expected to reward those who stood by him as he settled as substantive president following the death of founding leader Morgan Tsvangirai last month. Party Deputy President Okozani Koop, who was elected at the opposition's 2014 Congress was fired last week along with organizing Secretary Abedniko Beban spokesperson Robert Gutu. The trio had failed to recognize Chamiza's ascendancy to the helm of the party. National Chairman Lovemore Moyo also resigned from the party last week, accusing the leadership of losing direction and deviating from the founding principles. In an interview yesterday, acting party chairman, Morgan Comicky, pictured, said Chamiza was empowered by the party's constitution to make the appointments. Our party constitution has got a clause in which the president has the prerogative or the powers to appoint a member of the standing committee and this is the same clause that was used by now late President Morgan Tsvangirai to appoint Chamiza and Mudzari to become the two extra vice presidents of the party, comic he said. Remember, this was challenged in the courts and the court ruled in favor of President Tsvangirai and it was found that it was legitimate and within the constitution that he could do that. Therefore, the incumbent has got the powers and prerogative to appoint and replace Madam Coop and appoint a vice president for the post he held before his elevation, he said. Comic he said the appointments must be made as soon as possible and in a manner that strengthens Matable and province from where Coop. Beb and Moyo hail from. The president has to put a program for the date and time to do that, but I am sure it will be very soon because we need leadership in Matt Abeland and those key positions, he said. Remember the party has lost a vice president, the national chairman has resigned on his own accord, the organizing secretary was expelled from the party by the national council and the same with the secretary for information. We have a number of vacancies in the party and we need those vacancies to be filled and they will be filled by appointment, he said. Chamiza was also expected to unveil interactive social media platforms to share ideas and his vision to reach out to a wider audience and drum up support ahead of this year's harmonized polls. According to his spokesperson Luke Tamburinioka, Chamiza will today launch a weekly series dubbed Road to Victory, R2V. Nelson Chamiza on Tuesday. The series will be a personal weekly message that focuses on the president's vision, thought leadership, policies and ideas that will underpin the new Zimbabwe under his leadership, he said. The series will also give insights and highlights of the journey, the ups and downs, the ins and outs as the people of Zimbabwe brace to make history by voting for real change and total transformation in the forthcoming polls, he added. The MDCT leader will also launch e-rallies, a digital platform that will enable those who cannot make it to his rallies to engage him on policy and other issues. This will be in the form of a video posted on his interactive online platforms where he will be engaging Zimbabweans on a multiplicity of issues. Through these innovative platforms, President Chamiza will ensure that he continues to engage fellow citizens on diverse issues affecting our beloved motherland, Zimbabwe, Tamburinioka said.